Welcome back to Giant Monster Games. My name is Adrian, we are playing some Budget Storm, and keeping a four-land hand seems like a really bad idea. But we do have double, double Goblin Laxtromancer. This is like the... This is like the worst possible keepable hand, I swear. Because Goblin Electromancer is good. We can play him, we make our stuff cheaper, plus we can theoretically swing in. Yeah, we're gonna keep it. This is like, it's not an amazing opening hand, but I don't think Mulliganing is gonna get us any better. Because we do have a bunch, a bunch of land. Four land is like the top you wanna be keeping in Storm. Ideally, four is actually a pretty bad opening hand as well. And. Yeah, bleh, that's how I feel. Bleh. So, yeah. Let's play the mountain and ship it to our opponent's turn. And um, so there's something I wanted to say to you guys. Something that I didn't say in either of the last two videos I've made for Storm is I have was I have been and I uh, was very reluctant to actually make this deck deck. Largely because... Oh, Ideas Unbound. That's going to be good. Uh, largely because I'm not... I, I feel like to play Storm well, you need to have actually like practiced a bunch. You need to play Storm. You need to be a Storm player. Otherwise, you're kind of just making these kind of best educated guesses rather than like actually knowing. So when I play the deck, I'm doing my best to like, what do I actually need to do? How do I need to go about doing it? But it doesn't mean that I'm always doing the right thing. So, ooh, Firemaster's Ascension. That's really good. Um, well, let's... Um, my opponent also hasn't played anything. I think... We're not going to go off next turn, so... I think getting another Electromancer into play and then swinging at our opponent's face a little bit is probably going to be a better bet. Probably, because I mean, we're not, no matter what we draw, we're not going off next turn. We need another Island, we need like Metamorphose, but even Metamorphose going off with three cards is really, really risky. So I think we're going to play the Electromancer and try and just swing to our opponent's face a little bit for some damage. I think that's what we're going to do. Um, main phase, let's play this guy. Get this into play. Anyways, as I was saying... I feel like you really need to be a Storm player to make this video, or make these videos, I should say. Like, the deck deck is relatively easy, because like, you can explain, this is what Storm is trying to do. Because when you play against Storm, you're like, okay, this is what Storm is going to do, and this is how I need to try and stop it. What is this? Search a library for two basic lands, reveal those cards, put one into your battlefield, one into the bait, damn ramp. Okay, well, one is doing some kind of ramp deck. Interesting. Um, but when you're playing the deck and trying to explain what you're doing it's i feel like you really need to be like you need to know what's going on <laughs> and it's like I, I do my best do my best to show what's going on but definitely not um the strongest storm player i feel like i've already made a couple mistakes on a couple different uh a couple different gameplay videos <laughs> so we'll, uh and yeah so i'm kind of worried originally about making this deck because i'm just worried that i'm gonna get like the 25 comments a day of like you're doing this wrong you're doing this wrong you should have sequenced this major misplay super punt uh yeah <laughs> so that was my that was my concern with this um no real reason for me to use the salt shivering reef i just felt like doing it mostly because we're not gonna try and go off where we're like we're not in a position where we can like actually go off we're not in a bad position like don't get me wrong we're not in a bad place but oh at the beginning of oh uh if you gain four more life so we might actually be playing against a green white prison deck which theoretically is not bad for us i'm just gonna keep going on the electromancer's you know damage plan oh metamorphose um this might actually be enough for us to go off might actually be enough do i want to try is the next question the thing is, we're going to have four draws from this. We have the Desperate Ritual, which, I mean, the only time you see this where this is our arcane spell and we can splice into arcane. <laughs> so, uh, that's uh, we're going to get a bunch of extra mana from that. And I think I'm tempted to go for it. I'm really tempted to go for it. Um, let's attack with all creatures. And go to the second main phase. I Do we go for it? Waiting one more turn. Our opponent isn't, doesn't seem to be doing much. So we might be able to last one more turn. Maybe. Um, do we go one more turn? Do I go one more turn? One more turn. Actually, no, let's, let's go. Uh, yeah, let's go for one more turn. We're going to try one more turn. Um, hopefully our opponent doesn't play some crazy... Something crazy. <laughs> By crazy, I mean ley lines. I <laughs> hope he doesn't play ley lines of sanctity. 
Uh, which I don't, I'm assuming he does not have in his deck. Oh, he might have in his deck. If he, if he is playing a white-green prison deck, it is completely possible. I was just a little bit reluctant on this because we're going to draw three cards from here and we're going to get a little bit of mana. We'll actually get, what, three, six... Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Oh, okay. And gain life, so he's going to get an angel from that as well. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, should have uh, tried to go off last turn, that's for sure. So he gets a 4-4 angel, which is okay. We draw a what? Target player gains 7 life. Okay, so... Eh, okay, we, we got it. We got this. We got this. So, it's going to be Ideas Unbound. Um, actually, no. It's going to be Metamorphos first. Metamorphos. Because we're just going to get Blue Blue. Yeah. Um, we should have went off last turn because our opponent is now at 21. Which uh, is going to make us a little bit more difficult for us to go off. Tormenting Voice is good. Um, now we're going to go Ideas Unbound, Cast with Additional Spells. So Cast with uh, Entwine in mind. Or uh, Splice into Arcane in mind. Uh, and splicing this guy for a 1 mana because these guys, for the record, that's something else. Just remember, the Splice into Arcane is a cost, and this reduces costs. So when you are splicing into Arcane, if you have a Goblin Electromaster or Baral in play, it only costs 1 red mana. <laughs> 1 red mana. So it's, uh, it's super value for us. So we're basically going to get 6 mana for doing this. Which is awesome. And then we're going to draw into 3 cards. So 6 mana, 3 cards. Ooh, Pyromancer's Ascension is is definitely something I want to play. Um, so let's Pyromancer's Ascension. Uh, and then I think we're going to go Tormenting Voice, discarding an island. Uh, hmm. And then what? We don't have draw. We don't have draw, guys. We we whiffed. We whiffed it. We li we whiffed it super hard there. We needed to draw into anything else that would draw us cards. So, and we didn't. We didn't do it. Um, do we reset? I think the answer is yes. I think we reset. Um, yeah. Okay. Well. Our opponent, yep, we're going to go with uh, mana in our mana pool. And we're going to have to discard three cards. Oh, no. No. Okay, well, uh, it's going to be an island. Uh, pyretic Ritual, Desperate Ritual. <laughs> I forgot that. Oh, no. That's a whiff, guys. That is, uh, that is a swing and a miss. There we go. Throw those guys away. Yeah. Ideas Unbound is uh, very punishing if you don't manage to go off. Super powerful is a really powerful card, but if you don't manage to go off, ooh, dangerous. Yeah. Okay. There goes another Pyromancer's Ascension to the graveyard. Opponent gaining more life. We are in a very bad spot here. I highly, highly... Oh, Miscutter Hydra. Neat. I highly doubt that we're actually going to be able to manage to win this match at this point. Um, uh, I can't believe we whiffed on that. We literally just needed to draw into, like, uh, pieces to the puzzle, ideas unbound, opt even, theoretically, or metamorphose. We had lots, of, we have lots of cards that draw us cards. We just need to draw into any of them. And with the, the four draws we got, we didn't get any more draw. Well, we know we also got, uh, Tormenting Voice. Past in Flames, that is a card that may allow us to go off. Um, so let's get... Some mana. Past in Flames, costing only two, which is good. Um, I think we go Metamorphose for one, creating blue, blue. So we have a lot of red. Um, Ideas Unbound. Pyretic Ritual. Pyretic Ritual. Uh, Tormenting Voice. Discarding Electromancer. Um, what else do we need? Pyretic Ritual, uh, Desperate Ritual, Tormenting Voice, Discarding the Island, um, Metamorphose making, yeah, pay red, Metamorphose making blue blue, double blue, um, pieces to the puzzle, 
And we are going to take Grape Shot and Opt, I guess. And Opt. Opt. <laughs> Give me Opt. Um, opt. Put on the bottom. We do not need to land. Um, Baral doesn't help us out. We're at 13. That is going to be enough. Should be enough. Let's just do Desperate Ritual again. And Grape Shot our opponent's face. Gaboom! Look at that! Oh my god. I did not think we were going to come back from that. Um, okay. Same target. And here we go. Here we go. Past in Flames is an amazing card. It is very expensive right now, but it is an amazing card. Especially once you like actually we like drew enough land that we actually could play them all. Super funny. That's not something you normally see in this deck. You don't normally see a ton of land getting put into play. And you get a like hard cast <laughs> past in flames without like in the middle of going off. Kinda funny. And then grape shot again to our opponent's face. Which is easily enough to kill him. 16 on the storm count. So that means 16 spells get put onto the stack. For the record, uh, it looks like our opponent decided to scoop. Well, we won against um, something or other. <laughs> I'm not really sure what we were playing against. Until next time, my name's Adrian. This is Giant Monster Games. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to game like a giant monster. Thanks for watching the videos here on Giant Monster Games. If you want to support the channel directly, we now have a Patreon page which you can go and become part of the broader Giant Monster Games community. Additionally, if you want to see some other awesome videos, you can click right here or right here.